We have the Weather Authority forecast now, and we have breaking Weather Authority news. Violet's in to tell us all about it. Yeah, we have a tropical update. Our second storm of the season, Brett, is right now a tropical storm, but expected to intensify to a Category 1 hurricane. So our first hurricane of the season. And it's looking to make landfall, but not until later this week. Closer to Thursday and Friday is when it will reach the Caribbean islands as it makes its path westward. So we're keeping an eye on that system, but still a few days away before it reaches any land as it travels west through the Atlantic. Here locally, we're nice and quiet. There was some severe weather across the East Coast, but right now we're seeing quiet conditions here in central New York. This is a live look from our triple Doppler radar sponsored by Falso Service Experts. That troublesome system that brought some tornadoes to the south is staying to the south of us, but bringing us some warmer air up along the East Coast. There's also another system far to our north, and in between these two systems, we're getting a little bit of activity. There's a small chance to see an isolated shower or storm over the next couple of days between those two systems, but really not much activity. For the most part, high pressure is dominating our weather and the Great Lakes region. And it's not just us that's getting some hotter air along the East Coast. We're also seeing a south wind across the middle of the country, bringing quite some hot temperatures to Texas all the way up to North and South Dakota. Temperatures in the 90s to even near 100 in some spots. And that stretches all the way up into Canada as well. There's some spots in the mid 80s up there, which is not helping their wildfire situation as those are still burning in the hottest spots of Canada. And for us here locally, our high temperatures are expecting to stay in the 80s for the rest of the work week and into the weekend as well. We'll be in the low to mid 80s Tuesday through Thursday, then near 80 Friday and Saturday. And these are also the days we're expecting the most rainfall as well. So if you are planning on mowing the lawn or doing anything outdoors, the next few days look great. Just a small chance for an isolated shower or storm tomorrow and Wednesday, mostly quiet Thursday. Then Friday afternoon looking iffy as we're tracking some scattered thunderstorms. Now let's time this out with your future cast. Pleasant weather this evening for Juneteenth. If you are heading out to the firework events this evening, looking to stay nice and quiet. Mostly sunny up until sunset, which is about 845. Then mostly clear at least up until about 10 p.m. tonight. We'll get some increasing clouds late overnight. The chance for a spotty sprinkle just to the south of Syracuse, but there's a lot of drier air mixed in, so a lot of that rain probably won't even reach the ground. Temperatures will be dropping down to 60 by sunrise tomorrow, starting off with a mix of sun and clouds. Still the risk for an isolated shower to the south of Syracuse, and then more will be firing up in the afternoon as well. Again, best chance still south of Syracuse. It'll also be warm with highs in the low to mid 80s tomorrow once again. As we check out the rest of your forecast, your seven day summer officially begins on Wednesday and it's definitely going to feel like it's still in the mid 80s. Chance for an isolated shower storm in the afternoon. Staying in the 80s as we get closer to the weekend and our best chance for rain starts Friday and it will be every day through the weekend and a good chunk of next week. The strongest storms look to be on Saturday.